Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm sure you just have a glad in it. It's such a pleasure to come to you at this Christmas season again to bring the greetings, the wonderful greetings of the goodness of the Lord. Let's look at the Bible. Similar greetings were brought by angels in the days of old in Luke chapter 1 and read it from New Living Translation. You will have great joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth. I do hope you are rejoicing at this season of the birth of Jesus Christ. The question I have for you, how have you spent this year? Have you spent it lifting off people, encouraging people, building lives, walking in the way of the Lord God Almighty, or the opposite? One of the special things that happens in Christmas season is that God gives us another fresh opportunity to encourage people to do what we wish we have done that we have not done and do it better. And that's why I've come this season again to encourage you to bring life and joy and blessing to somebody's life. One of the things that happened in the time Jesus was born was that they brought gifts unto him. What gifts are you bringing to people's life? Jesus is no more in the manger. He has come, he has suffered, he has died, he has taken away our sins. But he has given us joy, he has given us peace, he has given us good example. Or what to do. And people that are related to him have shown us that Christmas season is a time of giving gifts. I want to encourage you today. Within the next few days, give gifts of joy. Give gifts of life. Tell somebody about Jesus. That is the best gift you can give. Particularly those who have never met him. Particularly those who have not known him. Tell them that Jesus was born for them. Tell them that Jesus came because of them. And if you yourself that you are hearing me has never met him, I want you to know that he came for you. He died for you. He was born so that your life can have purpose. He was born so that your life can have meaning. He was born so that your life can be rejuvenated. Many years ago, precisely, February 10, 1977, I gave my life to him. And I can tell you, it's been a wonderful experience. This Christmas season, bless somebody with the blessing of Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. For pastors, for ministers, let us lift up Jesus as we go to the pulpit in this end of the year. And when we lift him up, sure, he promised, he will draw men to himself. I pray for you this Christmas season. God will watch over you. God will bless you. God will prosper you. God will encourage you. The issues in your life that are your major concerns, He has taken them away. He has taken away your sorrow, your grief. He has given you new life. He is the reason for the season. If you have not found Him, find Him. If you have found Him, stay with Him. If you have stayed with Him, go with Him. God bless you. I love you.